What's up, Drag and Drive family? Buckle up, because today's episode is pure EV insanity. We're counting down the top six Chinese EVs that are about to shock the world. And no, this isn't clickbait. I'm talking next level range, mind-bending performance, luxury that makes Europe nervous, and price tags that'll make American automakers cry into their spreadsheets. China's EV game isn't catching up anymore, it's pulling ahead. So if you love cars, the smell of innovation, or just want to feel that mix of awe and envy, hit that subscribe button, grab a snack, and let's dive into the future. We're going from number six to number one, and trust me, the deeper we go, the crazier it gets. I'm warning you now, number one is so over the top, it might just change how you look at luxury cars forever. Ready? Let's roll. Number six, Xping G6. We're kicking things off with a bang, the Xping G6. Imagine an 800 volt EV SUV that can go almost 570 kilometers on a charge, juicing from 10 to 80% in around 20 minutes, and all that tech wrapped in a price tag that's less than a used Tesla Model 3? Yeah, you heard that right? That's the Xpeng G6, a crossover that's somehow fast, futuristic, and affordable. Visually, it's slick. Think sci-fi coupe meets family SUV. It's 4.75 meters long, has that swooping roofline, and a futuristic front end that looks straight out of a cyberpunk movie. Xping says its design was inspired by science fiction writer Lee Cishan, and honestly, you can see it. It's the kind of car that makes even the Model Y look a little… last decade. Step inside and you immediately get why people call this a tech lover stream. There's a massive 15-inch touchscreen running on Snapdragon hardware, buttery smooth graphics, and an AI voice assistant that responds instantly. No, sorry, I didn't catch that nonsense. It's got ambient lighting, a panoramic glass roof, and seats that literally feel like floating clouds. Every switch and material gives off that near-luxury vibe, even though it's half the price of what you'd expect. Now. Practicality-wise, the G6 is a five-seater, but a roomy one. Fold those rear seats down and you've got over 1,300 liters of cargo space, enough for your luggage, golf bag, and maybe a week's worth of bad decisions. Under the hood, well, under the floor technically, you've got two versions, a standard 66 kilowatt hour pack or a long range 87.5 kilowatt hour one. The long-range G6 can sprint from 0 to 100 kilometers an hour in about 6.2 seconds, powered by up to 440 newton meters of torque, and that 800-volt architecture means ultra-fast charging. Seriously, plug it in, grab a coffee, and by the time you finish your muffin, you're good to go. Here's the real kicker, the price. After the 2025 refresh, Xpeng dropped it to just 176,800 yuan. That's about $24,000. 24 grand for an 800 volt EV SUV? Meanwhile, here in the States, that's barely enough for a used Corolla that smells like gym socks. Now, the G6 isn't perfect. Some people complain that everything runs through the touchscreen, so adjusting mirrors can be kind of awkward, but it's built solid, the safety structure's been crash tested to hell, and for this price, it's a total flex. But wait till you see what's next. Coming up at number five, we've got a six-seater hybrid beast with three electric motors and L3 self-driving tech that could make even Elon sweat. All right, moving on to number five, the Zeker 9X. And oh boy, this one is wild. Over 1,000 kilowatts of combined power. That's right, not horsepower, kilowatts. It's a plug-in hybrid SUV that could literally outdrag most sports cars, and it comes with six luxury seats, 43 sensors, and enough computers to make NASA jealous. Let's start with the looks. The Zeker 9X is massive, over 5 meters long and 2 meters wide. It's got that big, bold presence like a Range Rover, but with the smooth, sci-fi glow of a Tron vehicle. The front fascia looks like it's thinking. Seriously, those sensors and LiDAR units look like eyes scanning your soul. This thing isn't just a car, it's a mobile command center. Inside, it's pure futuristic luxury. Six seats arranged two plus two plus two, and the second row, my god, has zero gravity recline, leg rests, built-in headrest speakers, and enough ambient lighting to make you feel like you're in a first-class lounge at 30,000 feet. Tech-wise, it packs dual NVIDIA Thor chips good for 1,400 trillion operations per second. Translation, this SUV could practically drive itself while you chill with a drink. There's adaptive air suspension, active anti-roll bars, and it can adjust its height like a boss, low and aggressive when you're cruising, tall and plush when you're hauling the family. 
Underneath all that glam, Zeker's powertrain is pure madness. You've got a 2.0 liter turbo engine paired with three electric motors for a total of around 1,030 kilowatts. That's about 1,381 horsepower. Zero to 100 kilometers an hour in just 3.1 seconds. Range? between 220 and 380 kilometers pure electric depending on the battery, once the gas engine kicks in, you've got thousands more. Price-wise, it's not cheap, but considering what you're getting, it's insane value. It starts around 465,000 yuan, roughly 65K, and tops out around 84K. Compare that to a BMW XM or a Cayenne Turbo S, and the Zeker gives you triple the power for half the money. The only question, and it's a big one, is whether all that tech will hold up over time. Three motors, hybrid system, AI brain, that's a lot of moving parts. But one thing's for sure, Zeker is proving China can build ultra premium machines that rival anything from Europe. Still, this next one, this next one could change EV ownership forever because at number four, we've got a car that doesn't need charging stations the way you think. You just swap the battery and go. At number four, Meet the Neo Onvo L90, the family-friendly, battery-swapping, 900-volt, full-size EV that could end EV charging anxiety for good. So here's the shocker. This three-row SUV can go up to 605 kilometers on a single charge, uses a 900-volt platform, and supports battery swapping in under five minutes. Imagine rolling into a station, your deigned battery slides out, a fresh one pops in, and you're back on the highway before your Spotify ad ends. Design-wise, it's serious. It's big, a proper full-size EV with muscular proportions, smooth EV lines, and an understated high-tech face. It looks like something between a Rivian R1S and a modern Volvo XC90, but sharper, more minimal, more Chinese futurist. Inside, you can get it in six or seven seat configurations. The second row captain seats feel executive, while the third row is surprisingly usable. Materials and craftsmanship borrow heavily from Neo's luxury roots, plush surfaces, soft leather, and of course, that giant floating display we've come to expect. The L90's secret weapon is that battery swapping system tied into Neo's national network. No range anxiety, no waiting at superchargers, just quick pit stops and go. Performance-wise, it's no slouch. The rear-wheel drive model puts out 340 kilowatts, while the all-wheel drive bumps it to 440 kilowatts. That's zero to 100 kilometers an hour in 4.7 seconds. The battery options include an 85 kilowatt hour NMC pack or a 60 kilowatt hour LFP pack. And thanks to the 900 volt architecture, you get efficiency and blazing fast DC charging if you need it. And then there's the price. Ready for this? 179,800 yuan. That's just 24,700 US dollars. For a full-size EV SUV with over 600 kilometers of range, 900 volt charging, and swappable batteries? Try and find anything even close to that in the West. Some critics question whether swapping can scale globally or if battery wear could become an issue over time. But still, this thing proves EVs can be practical and exciting. All right, let's take it up a notch because number three, oh man, number three might be the biggest mystery of them all. A name most of the world's never heard of, but if the rumors are true, it could be the sleeper EV of the decade. Number three, Maestro S800. All right, confession time. The Maestro S800 is a bit of a mystery. There's not a ton of official data floating around yet. It's one of those under-the-radar Chinese projects that's been teased but not fully unveiled. But the whispers, the renders, the leaks, oh, they sound juicy. Word on the street is that the S800 is an ultra-luxury electric sedan built to compete with cars like the Mercedes EQS or the Lucid Air, but for a fraction of the price. Some say it could pack dual or even tri-motor setups with outrageous acceleration, maybe sub 3 second 0 to 100 km per hour times, and the kind of design that makes you question whether Rolls-Royce should be nervous. From the early design shots, it looks elegant. Long hood, sweeping roofline, minimal lines, all wrapped in that rich without trying aesthetic. Think a cross between a Bentley Flying Spur and a Tesla Model S, but with sharper Chinese design language. 
Inside, it's rumored to be all about experience, AI-driven luxury, massive screens, and maybe even a rear lounge fed up with massaging seats and personal entertainment screens. It's the kind of car that screams billionaire in stealth mode. But here's the deal. Since Maestro hasn't dropped official specs, we can't say much on battery capacity, range, or pricing yet. Some insiders suggest it could be priced dramatically lower than Western luxury EVs while offering similar performance, which, if true, could make it a category disruptor. Still, there's skepticism. Can a new player deliver on luxury promises and safety regulations simultaneously? We'll see. But even with limited info, the hype around the S800 is loud enough that it deserves a spot here, because when China teases something quietly, it usually lands like a thunderclap. And speaking of thunder, number two is here to blow your mind with design, power, and partnership. Because when Huawei gets involved in a car, you know things are about to get spicy. Number two, the Avatar 12. Okay, buckle up for the Avatar 12, a luxury EV so slick it looks like it drove straight out of the sci-fi blockbuster. This one's co-developed by Chang'an and backed by Huawei, and it's giving BMW and Mercedes some serious sleepless nights. Here's the headline. Up to 650 kilometers of range, dual motor AWD with 3.8 second 0 to 100 km per hour acceleration, a 94.5 kilowatt hour battery, and triple LiDAR sensors for next-gen self-driving. Oh, and all that tech? Starting at just $37,000. Yeah, that's not a typo. On the outside, the Avatar 12 is long, low, and lethal. Over 5 meters from tip to tail, 2 meters wide, with curves so clean they make an S-Class look clunky. The front end is sleek and minimal, the roofline flows like liquid, and everything screens elegance and aerodynamics. It's not loud, it's confident. Step inside, and you're hit with modern palace vibes. The Royal Feeder Edition has 25 Meridian speakers pumping out 2,000 watts of surround sound. The rear passengers get their own massive 16-inch display, and both rows have heated, ventilated, and massaging seats. The cabin design feels expensive, with wraparound ambient lighting, zero clutter, and AI everything. Thanks to Huawei's influence, the voice assistant and infotainment system are next level. Instant responses, smooth visuals, and integration that makes CarPlay feel ancient. Now, performance-wise, it's serious business. Dual motor, all-wheel drive, top speed of 220 kilometers per hour, and that 94.5 kilowatt hour CTL battery, giving up to 650 kilometers CLTC range. The fast charging is bonkers, 10 to 80% in around 10 minutes on high voltage infrastructure. It's elegant, powerful, and techy, like if Lucid Air and a Huawei smartphone had the love child. And the price, as I said, 269,900 yuan to 429,900 yuan, roughly 37k to 59k USD. For a luxury EV with triple LiDAR, that's daylight robbery compared to European or American rivals. The only debate? Whether Avatar can maintain that high-end quality and software stability as they scale, but man, if they pull this off, the Avatar 12 could be one of the most disruptive luxury EVs on the planet. But hold on tight, because our number one spot is pure luxury, pure heritage, and pure ambition. The name alone commands respect in China, and now it's entering the electric age. Number one, Hongqi L1. Ladies and gentlemen, the Hongqi L1, the myth, the mystery, the masterpiece in the making. Now, I'll be upfront. Official details are scarce. This car is shrouded in secrecy, but the glimpses we've seen suggest it's going to redefine Chinese luxury on the global stage. Hongqi, which literally means red flag, has been the ride of presidents and dignitaries for decades, their version of Rolls Royce. And now they're going electric. The L1 is rumored to be a full size luxury EV sedan. Think modern limousine meets next gen tech. From early design leaks, the L1 has a long, majestic body, flowing roofline, and that signature Hungchi front grille reimagined for the EV era. It's got that old money presence, but infused with futuristic grace. Inside, expect top-tier materials, handcrafted leather, ambient lighting that flows like silk, wood or brushed metal trims, and screens everywhere. It rumored to feature AI comfort controls, reclining executive rear seats, and maybe even a full rear lounge package. 
Performance details are still under wraps, but if Hongqi's previous EVs are any clue, we're looking at dual or tri-motor setups, enormous range, and whisper-quiet ride quality. This isn't a performance EV, it's prestige on wheels. And while no official pricing has been released, expect it to undercut Western rivals like the EQS or i7 while matching or surpassing them in sheer luxury. The L1 isn't just a car, it's a statement, a declaration that Chinese automakers are no longer following. They're leading. Sure, skeptics will ask, can Hongqi pull off that craftsmanship consistently? Will it make sense outside China? Maybe. But if they deliver what they're hinting at, this could be the moment China plants its flag squarely in the world's luxury segment. So there you have it, the top six Chinese EVs that are about to shock the world. From the ultra-efficient Xpeng G6 to the tech-loaded Avatar 12 and the mysterious, majestic Hongqi L1, it's clear China isn't playing catch-up anymore. It's rewriting the rulebook. If you made it this far, you're officially part of the Dragon Drive family. Smash that like button if any of these cars blew your mind, drop a comment below telling me which one you'd actually buy, and hit that subscribe, because next week we're diving into something wild, the 10 cheapest Chinese SUVs that could replace your Ford or Toyota. Until then, stay charged, stay curious, and remember, the future doesn't wait, it drives electric. This is Dragon Drive, signing off.